So this is a box that a typical Arduino starter kit comes with. And this is the box for the Rex Qualys starter kit. And so I'm very interested in seeing what's inside and I am a big fan of the Mega. So let's take a look. I've actually never owned anything by Rex Qualys, but my friend Brian over at Circuit Crush TV unboxed one of their kits and I decided I wanted to take a look and I think we're going to be able to have one as a giveaway for the group too. So, you know, obviously anytime I talk to somebody, I'm trying to get you guys a giveaway. So keep an eye out for that. But this is the Rex Qualys Mega Most Complete Kit Make science fun, make science popular. So we'll open it up and we are given this card and I will try to avoid using that and see if I can just identify a lot of this stuff by vision. It's got the CD, DVD with the code on it and some PDFs and libraries and all that kind of stuff. Um, most of the time these companies have the CD plus the GitHub repository. I usually wind up using the GitHub because I know it's up to date, but this is awesome that it comes with an actual disc. This is cool. So I like the fact, I'm going to slide this out of the way to give you guys a little bit better visuals. Um, I like the fact that they, you know, label these things. These are resistors, two different sets and of different amounts, quarter watt resistors, which I like. For one thing, they're just easier to deal with. A quarter watt resistor is a little bit bigger, a little bit chunkier. So great. Um, we've got this card in here. Okay, let's see what this is. Get a free gift. Um, soldering iron kit giveaway. Claim your free. Wow. Okay, so claim your free item here. So I'm definitely going to fill this out. And if I don't get the soldering kit, I'll let you know. But I'm going to fill this out and get my free soldering kit. So we have the uh, the 4x4 matrix with the little um, membrane push buttons. We have the infrared remote with numbers on it. They, they have different styles of these, but I like this one. It's got, I don't know if you can see it in the video, it's got play and pause and all that kind of stuff does come with a battery, which is sweet, so cool. We have a little motor with, I, I like the idea of giving these little things just for visualization, uh, the little fan type thing that you can pop up on top. I think it's kind of cool. Uh, get it, kind of cool, haha. <laughs> so you got the little fan thing, so we'll play with that. Comes with an actual, this I'm guessing nine or 12 volt power supply, nine volt power supply, which is good, because you could, you could power these things with up to, I think, 18 20 volts but you want to use about nine is is about perfect because the more volts you put in it the more that the arduino has to dissipate with heat so using a nine volt power supply is a great way to power one of these things so we have these little doohickeys here this looks like a microphone so we've got a little microphone module and some kind of rotary encoder type thing let me make sure that's what that is that is a rotary encoder Awesome. I don't know what the little output is on the other side. It's kind of interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing what that is. We have the 16 by 2 display and this one, oops, it didn't break it. Uh, this one has all the pins on there. So this does not have an I squared C shield. It's the, the standard one where you hook up a bunch of wires. I'm okay with that. This is your O2 uh, or your HC SR04 ultrasonic sensor. So every kit has to have one of these. Uh, this is so you can power your Arduino with a 9 volt battery. I got a little joystick here and this has got all right, P1, P2, P3. Now that's interesting. I've, I've used a bunch of these, but I don't think I've ever seen one with that many pins on it. So I don't really know what's going on with the joystick, but it looks like a different kind of module. So interested to know what that is. The ubiquitous blue USB cable. The good jumper wires, the ones that have the little molded ends, happy about that. Good choice, Rex Qualys. Got a couple more sensors here inside an individually packed box. And uh, so we got the uh, 11, the DHT11 temperature sensor. So the, the gist of them, usually when they're blue, it's the DHT11. And um, this one has a little bit less accuracy, a little bit less range, but it can measure the temperature more often where the white ones are usually the 22s and they have maybe a little bit better accuracy but can only measure I think every two seconds. We have an infrared receiver. Let's see, I don't know what this is here. Okay, this looks like a soil moisture sensor. 
I've got some things coming up with using these things. So this is this one is made for dipping in the soil. Uh, if you want to do any of this kind of work where you're measuring soil moisture, I highly recommend you checking out a video by Andreas Spies where he tells you why a lot of these sensors suck and what to do about them and how to make them better and all that. So very cool. And a little breakout board. So we have, and this is good, so there's been a trend lately in a lot of the starter kits to come with the smaller version of these little matrixes, but this one comes with a bigger version and also comes with the headers on it to uh, daisy chain these things together. And so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's an eight by eight matrix that you can daisy chain together. So very cool. I haven't seen these bigger ones in a while. I like that. This looks like either a gyroscope or a temperature sensor, maybe te temperature pressure. So this is an ITGMPU. I'm guessing that might be a gyro. Let's see here. I am 95% sure that this is one of those gyroscope modules. Uh, yeah, okay, so I'm seeing here GY521. So yeah, this is a gyro, you know, give you all kinds of, of motion detection. Very cool. This is some kind of gas sensor, so I don't have my knife here. This is a, I think this is your normal, uh, maybe carbon dioxide gas sensor. It's an O2, I don't remember which one that is. I think that's carbon, mon that gas? We're gonna say gas. If it's not gas, I'll let you know. This looks like a PIR. So this is your little motion detector, your PIR sensor, very sweet. This is a real-time clock. So you can keep time with your Arduino. And this is different from the moisture sensor. This is more of a leak detector. And so I have a cool thing, we're gonna do a video on this in the future where I actually use these things to detect if you've shot it with a water gun. And so that's one of the things I want to tell you. Like when you get these kits, you'll see the examples of, hey, you know, you can measure a leak under a sink, but you could also measure if this thing got shot with a water gun. And so get creative out there, people. This is a big, okay, so this is a prototype shield. It's funny because in another video, I was just looking for one of these breadboards. Um, this is the mega prototype shield, which is very cool. So you can learn, for one thing, it's good for soldering. You can make your own... Uh, basically little perf board type things. It's got a reset button and all this stuff and then it also has this little tiny breadboard this 170 point breadboard that you can attach to the top so you can either practice or once you're ready you can make your own shield which I think is very sweet. That's very cool. I don't think I noticed that, that one that this one came with RFID but you have your uh, 13 megahertz RFID that comes with a card and a uh, and the little chip thing, so sweet. And I do like this, I, you know, the fact that you can get a soldering iron for free from Rex, Qual Rex Qualis, which I think is awesome, but because the kit doesn't come with a soldering iron, I think it's great that these pins are pre-soldered in. So many times I get these kits and this is not soldered on and the only thing you can't do in the kit is use your RFID, which kind of stinks. So that's awesome that they soldered that on. You have some male to female jumper wires. This is a very complete kit. This is this is cool. So you've got a servo motor here, or a uh, what do you call it? Stepper motor. You call this a stepper motor with its little its little board. This is a chunky one. This is a a nice chunky little step motor, five volt DC motor with its own driver board, and that that's got some heft to it. I've I've used a lot of these things, but I'll, I'll say that for a starter kit, I don't think I've ever seen one with this kind of quality. So I'm going to reach under here because I see this is a 830, I think it is, 830, 870 point breadboard. And then it also comes with this little doohickey that allows you to put it in the end and you can power your, um, you can power your breadboard from this thing, 3.3 volts, 5 volts, all that stuff. One of the things about these breadboards may not be obvious is that there is no connection. So you have a ground rail and a power rail, but usually, and we could check it with a meter, but normally these aren't connected. So this side gets 5 volts, but then this wouldn't get anything. You'd have to put a little jumper wire over there to use the other half of that. But this is an 800 and whatever point breadboard with the little power 
thing so that you can use that power supply I showed you to power the breadboard. Then here's the servo motor with your little uh, your little add-on things for it. So a real container of components, and I like this. Like I like the idea of giving actual components. You have some capacitors of various sizes. These are uh, your little electrolytic capacitors. And then you've got some LEDs. They're all five millimeter LEDs, a relay. You've got some seven segment displays. Looks like a little thermistor, I don't know, something in there. Uh, just all kinds of discrete components and buttons and displays and active buzzer and passive buzzer and all that kind of stuff. There's some tactile switches, some transistors, uh, some chips and all that stuff included. I like that, like I think it feels good to, to use real electronics. And last but not least, we have the Mega itself. So, yeah, it's, it's got some extra pins up here, but this is, it's a Mega. It's a Rex Qualys Mega. So, everything looks good. I mean, header pin, little tiny bend there, but nothing nothing too major. I, I'm a fan. I don't think this kit is very expensive, if I remember right. It's in the 40 some dollar range, but you know, for that, I think the Mega is a better starter board. I think that it's a it's a more powerful board. The, the um, components in here, they seem quality. They seem a little different, which I think is kind of cool. I, I like the idea of having the bigger, the bigger matrix. I want to know what this joystick can do. I like the idea of having the, the soil stuff and going ahead and giving the big breadboard and, and all this stuff is, you know, generally about ten dollars more than the cost of another starter kit but you're getting you're getting something for that money this prototype shield like this is a this is a sweet shield and you know I, I think it's really I think it's a cool kit so I'll take a look at the code and stuff like that but unless I see anything funny in there then I think this is a great kit